Welcome to the CA Performance Management version 3.1 new feature video, CA Business Intelligence Jasper Reports Server. CA Business Intelligence Jasper Reports Server, also known as CABI Server, is a new platform which allows for the reporting of CA Performance Management performance data on the CABI Jasper Reports platform and comes free with a licensed version of CA Performance Management. This video will show how, starting with CA Performance Management version 3.1, you can generate multiple variable, large-scale, top-end reports. These reports and underlying enhancements are the first steps towards incorporating a richer set of portable reporting capabilities into CA Performance Management and towards centralized reporting across multiple CA infrastructure management products. CABI Server is installed outside the performance management architecture on a separate server and utilizes programmatic access via OpenAPI to quickly and efficiently acquire performance data from the CA Performance Center component of CA Performance Management. Once you log in a CABI Server with the same credentials as you would for CA Performance Center, the resultant homepage shown here allows for quick navigation to address administrative requirements, for example, users and data sources and for the configurations and running of reports. Under Reports, we'll select View List to view a comprehensive list of available reports. Then select the report CA Performance Management Top N. This Top N report is the first in a series of out-of-the-box reports planned for CA Performance Management. Open API enhancements paired with CABI Jasper Report server functionality lay the foundation for more comprehensive, configurable report functionality in coming versions of CA Performance Management. Note that the goal here is not to replicate legacy CA eHealth reporting, but rather to leverage a much more modern reporting engine in CABI to responsibly generate scale-driven reporting content that meets today's organizational and business needs for our customers. Once the reporting configuration is loaded, this configuration page appears where the report parameters can be defined. First, you choose a time interval that the report will cover. We'll leave it at last hour. Next, you specify the reporting group. The selection of reporting group is a good example of how the CABI reporting workflow is integrated into CA performance management. In this case, the list of groups you have to select from is limited to only those groups visible to the user in CA performance management. Here, we'll select all manageable devices. Next, you choose the metric family you want to report against and also select up to four metric family variables you want to include in the report. We'll select the interface metric family and also select the bits in metric as an illustration. You can also specify the filtering criteria for each selected metric. We only have one metric and we'll choose the filtering such that we only see values of greater or equal to 1000. Scrolling down, we can then specify the maximum number of entries in our report. We'll leave this parameter at unlimited by leaving the top all entry checked. The top all option demonstrates one of the core design goals of CABI Server, the ability to generate large scale reports with no row limits and to do so with an emphasis on speed. Creating these large reports without having to wait minutes was a key differentiator demanded by customers who wanted expanded and more modern reporting capabilities on data sourced by CA Performance Management. As an alternative to top all, the following field allows you to specify the numerical value of N for the top N report. Finally, you can choose the reporting parameters of sort order, ascending and descending, rounding pattern, precision, and locale, which determines whether to use a comma or a decimal as a numerical separator. We'll leave them all as a default. With report parameter specification complete, we run the report by clicking the apply button. This report is being run against a set of approximately 45,000 interfaces, and so it's a good illustration of the responsiveness of the report generation. Another indication that CABI Server was designed for efficiency at scale is that you'll notice that the initial page of the report will be displayed as soon as it's ready. Here's the first page being displayed now. The Cancel Loading Data Progress Indicator running at the top of the page indicates that the remaining pages are being processed in parallel while you examine the first page of the report. In addition to adhering to the level of precision specified in the report configuration, note that the metric values are scaled using standard metric unit prefixes, such as K for thousands and M for millions for ease of reading. 
Notice the remaining pages finished loading several seconds ago and the total page count is now displayed near the upper right hand corner. With approximately 36 entries per page, a total of 483 pages indicates that over 17,000 entries are included in this particular report. Why not the full set of 45,000 interfaces? This is because we employed filtering to limit our reporting set to only those interfaces which had bits in value of 1,000 or more. To verify this, we can select the last page button to see that indeed the trailing interfaces have a metric value of 1K. Okay, now that we've seen how easy it is to configure and generate top-end reports, let's see how we can leverage the CABI Jasper Reports platform to both export reports and to save reports for later scheduling and notification. Exporting the report is as easy as clicking the Export drop-down and selecting one of the many formats available for output such as PDF, Excel, or CSV. Save the report by clicking the Save button, supplying a name, here we'll use bits in all devices last hour and clicking save. This mechanism allows us to save the same base top end report in a variety of configurations, say with different metric families against different reporting groups or across various time frames. Let's now navigate back to the home page in order to demonstrate how to run or schedule this report later. Simply click on the home page icon in the upper left corner. Once there, select a view list under reports as before, but this time we'll expand the CA Performance Management top end report to see its list of saved report configurations. There's our bits in all devices last hour configured report. Right click on it and select schedule. The resultant tabs across the top allow you to navigate back to the preceding report list page. Run the report immediately, perform a refresh or the option we're interested in, Schedule future generations of the report. Clicking Create Schedule brings you to the new schedule page where you can specify a start date and time and a whole variety of reoccurring criteria. We'll choose April 1st at 2.30 a.m. in the Eastern Time Zone with a weekly recurrence rate until the end of the year. Now selecting the Notifications tab, we can see the many options available for email notifications including several different ways to either include or reference the applicable report. Scheduling and notifications are just a few of the powerful and flexible features offered by CABI Jasper Reports, a modern platform widely adopted in the industry due to its inherent powerful reporting capabilities. The top end report we've seen in this video is a first step toward a much larger CABI server offering featuring a richer set of out-of-the-box reports. While this report used CA Performance Center as a data source, future CABI server versions will function as a unified reporting platform where a single server instance will be able to leverage several infrastructure management products as data sources. This single and flexible reporting pane of glass will be able to accept data from other products such as CA Spectrum. CA Unified Infrastructure Management, and CA Service Operations Insight to generate cross-technology reports. For detailed information about CA Business Intelligence Jasper Report Server or other 3.1 features, refer to the documentation on the CA Doc Ops platform or visit the CA Performance Management Community to join the discussion.